lumber mill leftovers provide the raw materials for particle board. The process starts with truckloads of sawdust. The next ingredients are wood shavings and wood chips from all types of lumber. They feed those chips and shavings into a large mill that works like a giant food processor, chopping them up into little bits. When the milling's done, the particles are between 0.2 and 5 millimeters big and less than 0.7 millimeters thick. To make the humidity level uniform, they put the particles into giant dryers whose combustion chambers are fueled by leftover dust from the chopping mill. After 15 to 25 minutes, the humidity level drops to 1.5%. From here, they'll send the dried out particles to a screening machine, which will separate them by size. Pieces too big for particle board are fed through the mill again. Sawdust becomes fuel for the dryers. Larger particles go into the rougher core layer of the particle board, smaller pieces into the smoother surface layer. Meanwhile, the factory's glue department gets to work mixing resin, water, wax, and chemical hardeners. Machines mix the glue and the particles, then push out a long, continuous mat. A cold compressor forces the air out of the mat. Then a hot press activates the glue and forces it all together. Next, a saw cuts the continuous mat into large sheets called master boards. They're still hot from the hot press, so they're put aside to cool for about a half hour. Once the master boards are cool, they're sanded. Then a stacking machine piles them about 80 sheets high. A saw cuts them into a smaller, more manageable size to be sent off to the furniture factory. At the furniture factory, the first step is to laminate the particle board panels with a decorative covering. First, the glue spreader covers the board surface with glue. Then another machine sticks on a four to five foot strip of decorative paper fortified with resin, varnish and other chemicals. This covering comes in many different colors and designs, from solids to imitation granite or wood. A blade cuts the paper between each board. Then a machine stacks the boards to prepare them for cutting. The saw cuts through six to eight boards at a time, depending on their thickness. The next step is to cover the edges of the particle board. They take a strip made of PVC plastic that matches the laminate. They glue it over the edges, then trim it for a neat finish. Next, they prepare the pieces for assembly. A multiple head drill makes screw holes in the panels. Meanwhile, they prepare the bag of hardware. There's a separate bin for each screw, nut, bolt and connector. The machines count out the exact number of hardware each piece of furniture requires. Then the hardware is automatically bagged and weighed to make sure nothing's missing. Every so often, a worker assembles a sample to make sure everything fits together properly. If it does, production continues and they can proceed to packaging. They put together the particle boards for each piece of furniture. Add the hardware bag and instruction booklet, then seal everything in plastic film. From here, it goes into a box to be shipped to the store.